Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today, cracking more packs for patrons. Now, last week, uh, we pulled, like, it seemed like every other pack had a ley line in it, so um, I don't think we should be getting any more today, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what we have to get. That's the, the beautiful part about opening packs. You never know what you're going to get. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right in here. Uh, switch over to our camera. Who do we have up first? We have... MTG Hermit. MTG Hermit, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to grab you two packs here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and move this box off of here. And then he gets a pack built for him out of the Patreon build. The pack box, he gets two rares. And then a common on common worth at least a buck. Random foil. Random foil basic and oh you know, speaking of foil basics while I'm remembering quick shout out to Golden Bow Hunsky and Matt Harrington um, We have a ton of new foil basics coming to the build a pack box and you can thank those wonderful gentlemen for that uh, uh, The we traded last weekend at uh, Matthew's birthday chaos draft, which was an absolute blast absolute fun so anyways then Ten cards out of here. These are just commons and uncommons from Magic's history. Um, nothing like super spicy in here, unless there's something that spiked. I mean, that has happened a couple times. Um, but then we also have random foils and rares and prize cards put in here. Um, there's lots of fun stuff. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. For MTG Hermit. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Hermit got. Which, if you get a chance, check out his channel. Um, I honestly, I haven't seen any of his new stuff here lately. I am extremely behind on my YouTube videos. Uh, but starting next Tuesday, all of the kids will be back in school full time. I'm going to be catching up on videos then. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a Whirlpool Rider. We got a Raging Crunch, uh, Fireblade Artist, Winged Words, Merciless Javelin, uh, Aramunculus, I think that's how you pronounce that. We got Watcher in the Mist, Natural Connection, uh, Spark Tongue Dragon, and then we got, oh, look at that, a prize card, an extra standard booster pack. So we'll go ahead and take this and throw it into the pile there and then put this back off to get recycled back in next month. So, yeah. All right. Well, those are your commons and uncommons. Let's see what you got for your foil basic. It is, a, oh, man, every time I see this, John Avon art is amazing. And his land, like, my camera isn't good enough. I can't wait till I get a good enough camera that can capture the beautiful of the foil here. But anyways, you get that M20 planes. Uh, you got a Runner's Bane from, uh, uh, <laughs> drawing a blank, Dragon's Maze. All right, and then our common on common is Risen Reef. Yeah, that's seen a little bit of play right now. All right, our two rares. Our first one is Captive Audience. Got yourself a Mythic. And then Spark Double. This is another, I like this one. I really do. That's a, that's a fun card. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in his three packs now. All right, I think we'll go ahead and skip right past. Oh, we got a foil. Look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, we got the Colossus Hammer, uh, Soldier of Ruin, the Fen Lurker, and then, hey, another winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. I'm that. Locust of the world. And then our foil is Zephyr Charge. All right. Not too bad for pack number one. Go ahead and see what we got in pack number two. All right, we got a portal of sanctuary, sanctuary, <laughs> colossus hammer. I'm sorry, that was bad. Uh, Yarox Fenlurker, seeing a pattern, and then Dawn from Dreams. It's kind of hoping to be like another Omnath, that'd be kind of cool, but oh well. All right, well, still, Dawn from Dreams, that's a pretty good card. I like that. Seven cards is a lot. Uh, and in limited, that's like an awful lot. 
Hey, if you get that pull-down li- and limited on you, uh, things just aren't looking good from there. All right, back in center, we got a disfigure, spectral sailor, device lockbox, and Golas, tireless pilgrim. That guy's not too bad either. I'm a fan. All right, well, congratulations, MTG Hermit. I think we got there. I think we did good. Uh, not bad for ten bucks. Anyway, all right, we're gonna put your thing here. You go put your name tag on it. So it doesn't get mixed up with everyone else's stuff. I apologize, folks. I'll try to fix that in edit. Um, I still haven't. I'm. Uh, I'm no longer sick, but I haven't shaken the cough. Uh, I went to uh, 20 years of smoking cigarettes. Um, pretty much now, anytime I get sick, it goes straight to my lungs, and then I can't shake the cough for almost a month. It's just that's my punishment. Anywho, next up we have got Mr. Kevin Wheeler. Kevin. Thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. He's getting two packs. And then he's getting two random rares. Common or uncommon. Random foil. Random foil basic. We'll go here. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we got for Kevin. All right, we got a Netcaster Spider. We got a Cyclops Electromancer. Uh, Giant Spectacle. Opal Lake Gatekeepers. We got Ceruling Drake. Ceruling Drake. Ceruling Drake. <laughs> we got, oh, hey, look, there's a, a rare. You got a Dynavolt Tower. I remember that one. That was in Standard and causing all sorts of mayhem. We got an Acrobatic Maneuver. We got Urban Utopia, uh, Bartisan Bats, and then Power Stone Shard. All right. Foil. Oh, look at that. You got yourself one of the, um, not GP, Magic Fest Promo Mountains. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's see what we got for random foil. It is a, ooh, corrupt. Um, I'm not sure what price at on this, but, man. It, it's hard for a lot of black foils to look good just because of the, the, the color schemes. That one's a good-looking foil. All right, we got a, ooh, Journey to Nowhere. That's not too shabby. All right, our first rare is Archfiend of Ifnir. And then we got a Conundrum Sphinx. All right. Let's see what we got in Kevin's packs. What did I do with... Oh, thought I misplaced your name tag over here, but just I moved it. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We got Warden of Evil's Isle. We got Might of the Masses. Rule of Law. And then Glinthorn Buccaneer. All righty, let's see what we got in pack number two. If I can get the cards out. I've done this before, I promise. Oh, did we get a foil? I think we got a foil. We got a Brineborn Cutthroat. We got a Colossus Hammer. We got a Retributive Wand and... Regisaur. I love that dino. Uh, especially in limited, that is so gross. All right, and then our foil. Eh, we didn't get a foil. I lied to you. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I could have sworn we had a foil. Easy. I, I got away from counting foils, and I need to get back to that because I mean that's like the surefire way to know if you got a foil. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, thank you very much, Kevin, for being a patron. Congratulations on your pulls here. Go ahead and. Put it right there. All right, next up, who do we got? We have got MTG Unpacked. Once again, MTG Unpacked. If you haven't checked out his channel, do it. They open up a ton of stuff. And um, actually, some of the stuff in the Patreon build the pack box here uh, is from MTG Unpacked. Uh, one of his patrons so generously donated their polls from a month to the channel, and it was, like, ridiculous. You know, I'll try to remember to put a link up here in the corner so you can check it out because... 
holy cats, that was just gross. Um, and then uh, MTG Unpacked actually threw in packs as well. So there was even, oh, I'm mixing stuff up. Whoopsie. Luckily, we have a video record of this. So if I have to go back through, I can see what everyone pulled. You know, we're just going to go ahead and move the booster box here. There we go. You go ahead and sit on top of the newest issue of Dead Man Logan. There we go. All right. We'll move this stuff over and avoid this catastrophe in the future. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here for MTG Unpacked. Ooh, we've got an appetite for brains. I always love the art on that. Uh, we got Gideon Sacrifice Demolish, uh, Blade Brand. We got Smelt Ward Minotaur, Fleeting Distraction, Goblin Gathering, uh, Etchings of the Chosen, Savage Smash, and Blade Juggler. All right. Once again, sorry, folks. I'll try to remember to edit that out. We got a... We didn't pick him out of foil basic. I am so sorry. Uh, well, you got to get to Chronicler uh, as your random foil. And let's go ahead and grab a random foil basic. I am so sorry. Um, you got yourself an Ixalan Plains. That's kind of sexy. All right. Common or uncommon. We got Tremor Sabertooth. That guy's fun. All right. Our first rare is Psy Master Thopterist. That's another good one. I love him in Commander too. Uh, and then we got an Angel of Grace. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Got yourself a Mythic. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the packs now. All right. We got a Portal of Sanctuary. Grave Digger. Uh, Mulder Vine Reclamation. And then we got Masterful Replication. All right. Next pack, we got a Loaming Shaman. That's not a bad card. We got a Vengeful Warchief, Seasons of Growth, and then Dread Presence. And then this time, we did get a foil. We got a foil. Hot diggity, and I, I think I saw part of the border, so I'm kind of excited. All right, here we go. It is, oh, it's not what I thought it was. I'm sorry, but still, it is a Destructive Digger. Alrighty. That actually wasn't a bad pack. In fact, that, that'd be a good sealed pack. Um, this is really good in limited. Um, this guy is good all the way around. It doesn't even really matter when you drop him. Um, Loaming Shaman. Yes, please. And then Dread Presence. Um, as long as you're not playing more than two colors. Um, if you're playing three colors, you're just you're not going to get enough to get... Um, enough triggers out of them to make it work, but that's good stuff right there. Good stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. And what did I do with your name tag? Uh, there it is. I knew it. I knew where it was. I was just making sure y'all pay attention. Good job, everyone. Uh, all right. Got that there. All right. Who do we have next? Next we have Twilight Eve. All right. Thank you so much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. I'm going to grab you two packs here. We got one rare. We got two common or uncommon. Random foil. Random foil basic. And then we'll do one. Well, I guess I grabbed two, but that still counts as one. One, two, three, four. So you can see it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten. All right, let's see what we got for Twilight's Eve. Uh, we got a Steadfast Sentry. We got Barony Vampire, Dagger Skull, Arianaut, Salvager of Secrets, Daybreak Chaplain. Is this all M19 so far? Oh, no, there's some M20 in there. Okay, it's all corset, though. Uh, we got Uncaged Fury. That's good stuff. We got Cruel Celebrant. 
uh, summary judgment, uh, cemetery recruitment, generous stray, and then a fervent strike. Our random foil basic is a Dominaria Forest. Go ahead and put that up there. Our random foil is... Ooh, I love this old... We got Titanic's Bulvox. I love the old shooting star foils. I love how they did that. Good stuff. All right. Common or uncommon is... Ooh, a counter spell from... Uh, let's see. That'd be fifth. The lighting... While good for cameras is not good for looking at stuff, I, I think it's a fifth. I, I'm pretty sure it is, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Uh, first rare is Experimental Frenzy. Next one is Banefire. You know, so many people disliked this card. I've always loved it. And all of a sudden, it found a home in standard. Love that card. All right, let's see what we got in the packs right here. We got Meteor Golem, Salvager of Ruin, Blood Soaked Altar. All three artifacts. Interesting. And then we got another artifact, uh, Gaff Digger's Cage. And then we got a foil. We got a foil fire elemental. How weird is that? All, all artifacts. All righty. Oh, well, I mean... I guess, I guess. All right, let's see what we got in Twilight's pack number two. All right, we got an Unchained Berserker, Rule of Law, Tomebound Lich, and then, hey, Temple of Triumph. Lands are never bad. I mean, these ones aren't the greatest, um... Uh, even before the reprint, the prices weren't really up there that high, but they're still good. Alright, well, you got your pile here. Let's go ahead and grab your name tag. And then we'll start putting them sideways. Alright, who do we have next? Oh! We have a new patron up. Now, the next three are in our, um, our booster pack club. Essentially, it's, uh... It's four bucks a month, and they get a pack and a random foil basic. But this next person, Mr. Lawless, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Um, he's new, and everyone that's new gets a card pulled randomly out of here. We'll go ahead and pick this one, and this is going to get autographed by myself, and then uh, this is going to get shipped off to him with the rest of his cards. So we'll grab him a foil basic. And a pack. Now let's see what we're signing. We are signing a Swell of Growth. And then he is getting a Swamp from M20. That's... That's actually... Oh, that's... um. Okay, yeah. I, for, I forgot who the artist was for a second. And I'm like, that's a very unique looking. But that's why. Anywho. All right, let's see what we got in the pack for Mr. Lawless. All right, skip, 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 skip. All right, get ourselves God's Willing, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Risen Reef, and then, oh, we got a foil too. And then we got a Temple of Epiphany. And then a foil, Master Splicer. Not bad at all. Let's see, land, land, and Master Splicer. That's kind of awesome. All right. You know, and now I think about it, I don't think we've pulled too many of the lands out of the uh, out of this box. So maybe that's what we're doing. Last week was all ley lines, and then uh, this week is all lands. Anyways, congratulations, Mr. Lawless. Thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated, and welcome to the club. All right, next up, next up we have Cody Hurrah. Cody, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Same thing. He gets a pack. He gets a random foil basic. And, you know, it's a good thing we traded for all those ones because we are on slim pickings. There's like six left. All right. I uh, got yourself actually the exact same swamp from M20. All right. And then for the pack, let's see what good stuff we open. 
Uh, Scholar of the Ages, hardcover, Moldavine Reclamation, and then Chandra's Regulator. Mount up. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Every time I see that card, every time I see that card, I, I guess that's what I gotta do. And if you don't know what that's from, do some Googling. Regulator Mount Up. All right, next up. So sorry. Uh, we have Kevin Chan. Now, Kevin is in our booster pack club, but he's getting a little extra. Because Kevin just got married. Congratulations, Kevin. Uh, I've actually known Kevin for quite some time. Uh, he's a really good guy. Um, and it just, I was so happy when I heard he was getting married. And uh, he just got married last week. So uh, this is uh, a, a, just a little gift to you. So we're going to grab you a foil basic, which is uh, a Theros Island. And then we're going to open not one, but we're opening three packs for you because, man, you're awesome. And like I said, you got married. Congratulations. So, all right, let's see what's in pack number one. Uh, we got a Master Splicer, Air Elemental, Salvager of Ruin, and then uh, Shared Summons. I love me that card right there. That has me written all over it. Pack number two. Uh, we got a Fencing Ace, Blight Beetle, Corpse Knight, and then Gargos, Vis Vicious Watcher. Not too shabby. Oop, skipping too far ahead here. All right, there we go. We got Herald of the Sun, Gruesome Scourger, uh, Dragon Mage, and then Brought Back. And then, oh, I thought there was a foil, but there is not. All right, well, congratulations, Kevin, both on the polls and on getting married. Best of luck to you and your wife. May you have many long years and be blessed with more kids than you think you can handle. All right. All right. Well, what do we got next? I know we've got to open some more packs. You know what we got? <clears throat> I'm so sorry, man. I, I'm doing my best to keep it under wraps, but I think I got to do a cough drop. I'm sorry, folks. All righty. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire up this thing here. And then we're going to jump on over to Wheel Decide, my favorite site. Everybody knows how much I love the site. Uh, everyone who commented on last week's video, your name is put in here. We're going to run over to random.org. We're going to roll a couple dice. And we got 11. So we're going to click this wheel 11 times. Whoever comes out on top at the end gets a pack opened. Congra or not congratulations, good luck to everybody that's involved. Uh, we got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. Whew, that's a lot. Congratulations to uh, Tornado Joe 87. Um, I know I've seen you, uh, you commenting here recently, uh, but in case you were unfamiliar with the rules. The only requirement to enter into this contest and to get these cards is first, you do have to be subscribed, and then you have to get a hold of us somehow, be it Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, find us on social media, Chuck Wagon MTG. Get a hold of us. Let us know where to send the card. You got 30 days to do that. Um, after the 30 days, it goes into the build a pack box. So, uh, but 30 days is more than enough, I do believe. Let's go ahead and see what Tornado Joe is going to be getting today. Alrighty. Alright. We don't need that running anymore. There we go. Alright, so we got Angel of Vitality, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Gauntlets of Light, and then... It's black. What could it be? Scheming Symmetry. So, this is an interesting card. Um, we built, I, I, I built a deck um, that actually the hell out of Bolus's Citadel. Um, and I keep telling myself I need to make a deck tech about it, but it's only good 
in Arena Best of One. Um, because once they figure out what the deck does, then it's... All they have to sideboard is, you know, one card, and it just... It tears apart. It's just, it's too fragile uh, after sideboard. Um, but when I first saw this card, I'm like, that is absolute garbage, because whatever you get, your opponent's just going to put whatever they need on top, so your opponent's going to say to themselves, I'm going to get probably something. If it's blue deck, they're almost guaranteed to counter. So I can counter whatever um, is gonna, what, what they're going to be doing next. Um, but... I found out that as long as you play this early game, most people don't go for an answer of any kind. They go for another piece of their combo, or they go for... Um, I, actually, one thing that I have... And now, now this is speculation, because you don't know what they draw, but just from what I've seen in playing, it seems that a lot of people tend to go with the, the win more cards which is kind of interesting to me so i, I i'm kind of digging this right now i i, I kind of am so anyways um you know before i forget uh, let me grab my uh sticky pad here oh and i just broke it all right awesome i don't know how you break a notepad but i just did it uh, all right so we got tornado joe 87 let me write this down or Nido Joe 87. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sleeve this bad boy up. And then, like I said, you got 30 days to get a hold of us. And uh, once you do, we'll go ahead and send this to you. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, Updates, real quick, I almost forgot about that. Pack to Power Cure. Um, if everything goes as according to plan, which for some reason at the end of this project, nothing is. Um, but if everything goes according to plan, we should be live with the auction by the end of next week. Um, we had a few kinks, but we worked it out. Um, and even if you're not... Know, a huge fan of the channel or whatever um and even if you normally don't share this kind of stuff for the auction when we launch it if i can implore you to do any one favor for me for the rest of my life it would be to share this i want to get as much exposure to this auction as possible so when it does actually sell we can get as much money as possible for the JDRF, that would just that that would be absolutely awesome. So, and you, know, and you don't even have to share necessarily, you know, the videos and stuff that associate with it. If you could share the auction at least, um, that would just that would make my day. But I will be making tons of posts when it finally goes live. So, um, on that note, I think that about wraps it up. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor: click the thumbs up, click the subscribe click the like button or the like button the the bell notifications you can tell we have new stuff coming out and then share this with your friends your family loved ones and pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again thank you very much for watching as always you can find us on facebook and twitter chuckwagon mtg